Welcome to c to tech Let's take a look at how to customize the quick settings on your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. So swipe down in your notifications and up at the top of the screen we have those six little icons. Those are our quick settings. If I swipe down one more step, you're going to notice that we actually have two pages worth of quick settings. And I can customize these in whatever order I want them to be, or I can even hide some of them if I find them unuseful and I don't use them all that often. And so all I have to do now is tap on the actual three little dots in the top right hand corner and then tap on button order. So now what I can do is tap and hold and then rearrange these icons however I want to. And what's also nice is say I don't use those options, what I can do is actually tap and hold and then bring it down to the bottom of the screen and it's actually going to hide that icon from up in my quick notification settings. So now that I have all those icons I don't use on the bottom of the screen, I can rearrange the top ones in whatever order I find them more useful. So right now I have Wi-Fi, let's go ahead and do Bluetooth, and then we'll put NFC next to it, and then we'll do Location, and then let's go ahead and do Airplane Mode after that. So Location, Airplane Mode, we'll do Sound, Flashlight, Power Saving, all the rest of it looks fine. So I'll go ahead and tap Done, and now I'll come out of my notification panel. What's cool is you'll notice that I swipe down, those six icons that I added in the front are now at the top of the screen. Now swiping down will show me all of my other icons that I have available. If I want to tap on one, it's going to do the action for what I have it set up for. So for sound, it's going to go through all the sound modes. So I have mute, vibration, and then I can even come back into sound. For flashlight, it's going to turn on the flashlight in the back of my device. I can turn off NFC or Bluetooth. And what's also cool is I can go ahead and turn those back on. But what's nice is that if I come in here and I tap and hold on one, it's going to give me my quick settings. It's going to quickly jump into that setting for whatever I was tapping on. So if I wanted to quickly jump into my Bluetooth option, tap and hold on Bluetooth, and it quickly jumps into my Bluetooth settings menu. So I thought that was really cool to be able to do that. What's also nice is tap on those three little buttons again. We can actually change the grid size. So right now it's a, at a 4x3, I can go down to a 3x3, three three, or even all the way up to a 5x3. I find 4x3 most useful. It keeps the icons in a nominal size that I, I can press on. Now it's also another nice cool feature is on the brightness slider, if I tap on the actual down arrow, I can show the controls on top. So tap done, and now notice that whenever I swipe down my notification panel, my brightness slider is always going to be seen up there next to my actual six quick settings. And then I can swipe down and get into all my rest of my icons, and also the brightness will actually come down below it. But if I tap on the show control on top and tap it off, notice if I come back in here, the brightness slider is no longer there. I find it useful to keep the brightness there because it gives me quick access to adjust the brightness level if I needed to. Your device is automatically set on auto brightness, but if you find that you need your phone at a specific level for some sort of reason, keeping this show control on top I find very useful because I can quickly adjust that without having to swipe down my whole entire notification panel to get into that. So that is how you customize your quick settings up at the top of your actual notification panel. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you in the next one.